Continue to monitor Capitol Hill at this point as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is facing that threat of ousting from his post. If a motion to vacate the speakership passes, we'll see something that's never happened before in our history. Gloria Pazmino has the very latest. A revolt on Capitol Hill. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy put his political life on the line Tuesday, calling a vote on a motion to oust him from his post. The effort was led by Congressman Matt Gates of Florida and comes just days after McCarthy relied on Democrats to pass a stopgap spending bill to avert a government shutdown. The move to oust McCarthy is yet another escalation of long-standing tensions between McCarthy and a block of conservative hardliners in his party. If you throw a speaker out that has 99% of their conference, that kept government open and paid the troops, I think we're in a really bad place for how we're going to run Congress. Democrats showing no sign of coming to McCarthy's aid. This is not a Democratic problem. This is a Republican problem. They supposedly have the majority. They should be able to pick their own speaker. Some are making it clear if it's up to them, McCarthy's speakership will sink. Kevin McCarthy's not trustworthy. Uh, we don't trust him. Their own conference doesn't trust him. So far, McCarthy has said he will fight it out on the House floor, even if it means running for speaker again. In the meantime, Republicans are frustrated with Gates as he pushes ahead and potential governmental paralysis looms. It definitely puts the majority in jeopardy when you see disunity. I think it's a, sending a terrible signal to the electorate in advance of the 24 election. I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting. Now, we did uh, see uh, a comment from Representative Dan Bishop. He said he would not vote to oust McCarthy. Meantime, Democrat Don Davis said he would vote to remove McCarthy from his post. We'll see what happens. The NCHSAA oversees high school sports here in this state, but a new law could shake that up. We have a live report on who can call some of the shots for student athletes. That's next. And fall warming trends forcing some disruptions in our community. WRAL's climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin explains why the weather was warmer and wetter in September. Plus, five on your side shows you where the fall deals are and what not to buy in the month of October. And our big fall front that arrives for the weekend still set to knock down temperatures, but I did have to bump up rain chances. I'll let you know when coming up. And tracking your traffic right now at 409. No major issues out there in the roads. Having no rain out there certainly helps the situation. This is what it looks like right now. A live look outside for you. US 1 at 1010 looking no problems looking uh, just fine right there right now. I do want to continue to show you we are monitoring that breaking news in Washington DC. The House is voting right now in the future of Kevin McCarthy. That vote is happening. The answer yay or nay coming up soon here on WRAL. We'll be right back.